Hey everybody, this is Crunchy Geckos. Today I'll be making a video on how to feed your Crassy Gecko, how to get them eating, and how to supplement their diet. All the Rachidactyl species, including Crassy Geckos, Gargoyle Geckos, Jehuas, Leeches, and all the other types, uh, can easily live off Rapashi Superfoods, which is a uh, uh, diet made especially for Cresta geckos and other Rachidactyl species. In the wild, they are fruit eaters. So Rapashi was made to imitate the fruit in the gecko's diet. And it's very simple to make. I'm just going to make a quick batch real quick. It's a two-part water, one-part powder. But if you have had a Cresta gecko for a while, uh, you kind of can just eyeball it. Mine does not eat too much, so don't waste Rapashi by filling up a whole feeding dish with Rapashi. Okay, so what I have here is just a little uh, Dixie cup. I think that's what it's called, a little plastic cup. It's got some stains in the bottom of it from the Rapashi. I get, I kind of eyeball a little amount. I try to make it so it about, just about covers up the bottom. Okay, right here. And uh, the crested geckos, your crested gecko might like it more with water, you know, like kind of like more watery. Or yours might like it more kind of like an applesauce-like texture. Mine likes the applesauce, so let me get a little bit more powder. Okay. So I'm just going to spray some water in here. And make sure you use water that is either distilled or dechlorinated to make sh to make sure. Sorry, I had to go get my mixer. Forgot to get that. To make sure that the water in there is safe because you don't want to give them tap water, which is because tap water is a too safe form. So I'm gonna spray some water with my awesome sprayer, which should show up. Okay, so I'm just gonna see if I can get this on camera. I just get a few sprays, then I start mixing up. What I use is the end of my tweezers. Just maybe get one more spray. Start mixing it up. And if you see that it's too, maybe it might be too uh, moist, or it could be too thick, you can either add or add or sub add more water, or just add more powder. So this right here is the perfect consistency. You can see. It's a little runny, not too much, and that's how my crest gecko likes it. Um, so, a lot of people struggle, especially new crest gecko owners. I struggle with this as well. They struggle <coughs> with the fact, is my crest gecko eating? Okay? Um, this happens in adult crest geckos and uh, baby crest geckos. Um, if I could go back, I would get a, an, an adult to gecko to start off because it's a lot less stressful but you know some people just including me just wanted to have the experience of growing one so they're always worried is my gecko eating enough and um, they eat when they're young in extremely small quantities so it's very hard to tell okay um, the way to tell, especially when they're young, because it's not too, it's not as visible. You can't see that they have eaten as much as you can as they are when they are adults. Uh, the way you can tell is by seeing if there's poop. It kind of sounds gross, but that's just how it works. That's about the only way I found out if Frida was eating while she was younger. Okay. Um, so, also, make sure not to give your... Crest gecko, one of those huge fancy zoom ed bowls, or you, you know what I'm talking about. They don't need that. Just give them a milk cap or water bottle cap. I actually use a little cap if you know the cricket keeper containers. They have little tubes and they have little tops, clear plastic tops, and that's what I use. And uh, I fill it up about halfway and she eats it up. That's another thing. Don't fill up the whole container. Because that's a waste of Rapashi, they're not going to eat it all. So, um, crest geckos, as adults, are more aggressive eaters. And by that, I don't mean they're going to bite you. I mean that they will eat it more 
often and they're going to eat it in larger quantities. So to get your, if you're worried about their weight or if you're worried about they're not eating, especially as young, young Cresties, what you can do is my, well, this kind of, I've thought of this idea because of my Cressy Gecko issues when she was younger. What I do, um, when I, what I did, because my Cressy Gecko loves insects, which is another part of the Cressy Gecko diet. I don't recommend solely feeding them Rapashi, though it can be done. You need some dairy in the diet. Um, I gave her crickets, and I still do to this day, but I gave her two crickets a week, small crickets a week, and that helped her get her appetite up and also it, make, it uh, made me more comfortable that she is eating and she's got something in her body. So that's always a good thing to do. So... I don't have my Cressy out right now, but she is a very aggressive eater, and if she saw these crickets, she'd probably be going nuts. Um, <clears throat> make sure you feed them crickets that are calcium dusted, because you're not feeding them too many crickets on a daily basis, or, you know, you're not feeding them crickets solely, like you would a leopard gecko. So when you do feed them, calcium dust them with just uh, some calcium. I have a sample. I actually got two little packages of it, so it works very well. So dust them so they get all the proper nutrients to help them grow and stay strong. They also will eat mealworms, but I don't recommend those as much because they do have shells. And your Cressy might not be able to digest them as well because they don't require heating, which heating is the way that uh, animals digest their food. So it will be a little bit tougher for a Cresty to digest a mealworm. Also, they will eat dubia roaches. I think they're kind of gross, so I've never... I've also never... So I've never fed them to her, but I've also never seen any on the market, so I haven't really bothered in getting into that business. But, um, so that is one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is supplement their diet with bananas or mangoes like the extra pieces that your family doesn't want to eat, or, or that's just extra pieces. It's just something for you guys to look at because you're probably bored. Um, you can smash it up, mix it with the food, or just give them a little container of man smashed up mango or smashed up banana. My Crescigenco really loves, uh, excuse me, uh, mango, okay, and I do too, so that always kind of helps out. Um, <clears throat> Please don't give them baby food because it's very sugary and not, it's made for babies, guys. It is not made for crest geckos. And it's not made for baby crest geckos, it is made for human babies. Pretty self-explanatory. Okay. So another way, there's a lot of ways, as you can tell, to make sure your gecko is fed correctly, is add some protein to their diet. And if you don't want to add live protein, that could be a reason that you got your Cressy because you don't really have to give them live insects. You can give them these little mealworm treats or insectivore treats, which are freeze-dried mealworms. Excuse me. And what you can do, I do this about once every two weeks to give her some protein. It's important to provide a lot of nutrients in their diet. Is I get one or two, well, three. I just get three this time of those and kind of crumble it up in there. So it's mixed up on the f with the food. It's kind of really nasty, but yeah, you got to make sacrifice, guys. <laughs> so smash it up so when she eats the food, it gets into her mouth and gives her some extra protein, which will fatten her up. And that rapashi is also great for fattening up your geckos, especially, because they love it. There's also other types of crest gecko food on the market, but I just use rapashi because it's cheaper and it works perfect. For me okay so that's uh, something you can do and if you'd like to make sure your Cressy is always getting some calcium or some you know reptile calcium you can just get a little dab of it and put it in your Apache as well <coughs> uh, you can put whatever you kind of not whatever you know what I mean it's kind of like cooking I guess you can add some ingredients and you don't want to add some ingredients you don't want to put 
You might want to add some fruit to some jello, but would you want to add chicken to the jello? No. Make sure you're not putting anything unhealthy for your crusty in the rapashi. I do like to mix just a little, but this is pretty much my mix, okay? I really recommend this. Insectivore tree and calcium mix into the rapashi once every two weeks just to make sure she's getting the proper nutrients. Okay, so I sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Not too much, they don't really need too much. Stuff gets all over you. <laughs> and mix it up, and that's uh, a great little supplement to your Cresty's diet. And to make sure you have enough, uh, it kind of turns a lighter color of brown. So that's a good way to determine that you have enough in there. And uh, that is just about it, guys. Um, if you have any questions, please refer to the comments below. Um, Cresties can be very stressful. I speak from past experience about feeding you, when they're little, as I've said earlier in the video. They eat in such small quantities, it's hard to tell. I'm wiping off my tweezers. It's hard to tell if they're eating, so just look for the poop. Sounds weird. Look for the poop. So, that's about it, guys. Now, this is a long, kind of drawn-out video, but I want to make sure you guys who are new Cressy owners, or you might be long-term Cressy owners that have had some problems, to help you fix your problems. Hope you guys had a good, have a good day. Hope you enjoy this video, learn some things. See y'all later. This is Country Echoes. Bye.